They say slavery didn't affect us. What's your response? Brother Robert, thank you for the $10 donation. Brother Robert, how could slavery have not affected us? Our women are strung out on fake hair and blonde hair. Our men are strung out on white women. Black people own no institutions. We don't want to build no institutions. We got light skin supremacy and black skin supremacy issues. We are in love with white folks. We hate each other. Who said slavery doesn't affect us? Do you realize slavery just ended 157 years ago? My great, great, great grandfather was born in slavery. My great, 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 great grandfather was born in slavery. Slavery was not that long ago. You have elders today whose grandparents were enslaved. You can find elders today whose grandparents were enslaved. And you can definitely find elders whose great grandparents were enslaved. The white man is trying to make, he's trying to paint slavery like an ancient event. And the reason he's trying to paint slavery like an ancient event, because he don't want to be held responsible for his role in it. Reparations, reparations, reparations. You understand me? He don't want to pay reparations, so he got to get black people to feel ashamed about talking about slavery. He has to motivate black folks to feel ashamed talking about slavery. I will never stop talking about what my ancestors went through. I will never stop talking about what my ancestors went through, brothers and sisters. After slavery, black people were successful in America. Yes, they were, Brother Robert. They were successful. They were also, be, also being lynched about seven a week, too. But with that being said, Brother Rob, we were successful because we were forced to do for ourselves. Let me say it again, Brother Robert. We were successful from 1865 until 1965 because we were forced to do for ourselves. But ever since that civil rights bill, don't blame the government. Don't blame Dr. King, one of my heroes. Rest in peace. Don't blame. Blame yourself. Nobody's stopping you from building a black school. Nobody's stopping you from building a black bank. Nobody's stopping you from building a black supermarket. Nobody's stopping you from building a black hospital. Nobody's stopping you from building a black community. Okay? You hate yourself and you love white folks. There would have never been a black Wall Street if integration would have started as soon as slavery ended. There would have never been a black Wall Street if integration started as soon as slavery ended. Yes, I saw the brother from Pennsylvania found hanging in a the park. There needs to be a protest in a march. Killer Mike is my guy. That's my brother, Killer Mike. Kieran, why do white people choose Africans? Several reasons. We were a very humanitarian people, which means we were gullible. We did not understand the European or what he was up to. As a result of that, some African kings and kingdoms were complicit in the transatlantic slave trade. They had no idea that slavery to the white man was perpetual, eternal, dehumanizing. He had no idea. Okay. They also chose us because they could get away with it. They chose us because they could get away with it. They also chose us because we were biologically stronger than the other groups. We were biologically stronger than the other groups. The Native Americans did not succeed well, not just because they were able to run away because they knew the land, but biologically they were not able to tolerate some of the diseases that the white man brought to them. We were able to tolerate the white man's diseases. We were biologically stronger and thus more successful under the lash. But make no mistake, we perished as well. Make no mistake, we perished as well. And of course, racism gave birth to a social, religious, psychological, political theory that said black people were inhumane, that we were animals, we were less than, we were devils. And that gave justification to the religious society in which the white man uh, belonged to that said we could be enslaved. But I'm going to give you a revolutionary pan-Africanist answer. Why did the white man enslave us? Because we let him. That's the revolutionary. That's the Garveyite answer. We let him. And why is that the Garveyite answer? Because from a pan-African perspective, all questions, all circumstances, all conditions, all struggles are evaluated based on 
a power perspective and a power dynamic and a power assessment. I don't want to hear about their Christians. I don't want to hear about love your enemy. I don't want to hear about send them to college. I don't want to hear about vote for another president. I don't want to hear about another protest. The question is simple. How much power do we have to apply against police brutality? How much power can we apply against Joe Biden? How much power can we apply to stop black on black crime? Everything must be judged from the power perspective. And the problem with us is we never use the power perspective to evaluate our problems. We want to use the religious perspective, the voting perspective, the marching perspective, the integrationist perspective. To hell with that. The power perspective. How do we stop black on black crime? Brother Cobain, thanks for the $10 donation. Black on black crime. Practical education, practical employment, African-centered mental health treatment. Pra Until we educate our own, violence won't stop. Until we employ our own, violence won't stop. Until we treat our own spiritually and psychologically, violence won't stop. Period. 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 Black on black crime does not stop until we educate our own children, employ our own children, and treat our own people. Period. Jamal said, hope all is well. Why should people keep saying we Af Africans sold Africans into slavery as if they wanted to do that when some of us know that they were forced? This whole narrative of Africans selling Africans into slavery is exaggerated, Brother Jamal. Some kingdoms did participate. But when most of them found out what America was doing with their kin, they stopped. And some of those very same kingdoms turned around and fought against the slave trade. Why we don't talk about the kingdoms that fought against the slave trade? Why are we trying to make the entire African continent guilty for the enslavement of African people? That is an exaggeration and it is a distortion of the truth. The slave trade of African people was an Arab European institution. The Arabs started it. The Europeans joined in and took it over. It is Arabs and it is Europeans. And what kills me, I don't ever hear nobody talk about the Arabs, but we'll talk about black folks. I don't hear nobody talking about the Arab involvement in slavery, but I keep hearing about African kings. Why don't I hear nobody talking about the Arab involvement in slavery, but I keep hearing about African kings? Somebody help me understand that. We got all the smoke for a handful of African kings, but we ain't got none of the smoke for all the Arab nations that was involved then and are involved now in the enslavement of African people. Cash App saw, can Africans become free by building the pyramids? We don't need another pyramid. I'm not helping nobody build another pyramid. That was 5,000 years ago. That's what they needed to do 5,000 years ago. And they did it when they ran the world. We have no business building no pyramid because building a pyramid ain't feeding nobody. It ain't employing nobody. It ain't stopping police genocide. It ain't stopping gentrification. It ain't building no schools. It ain't stopping mass incarceration. I'm not interested in no pyramids. Good question. Millions of Africans chose to jump off those slave boats, drowning their kids so they didn't have to choose bondage. Moment of silence for their courage. They have so much blood for us to be out here. I agree. I agree, brother. Our ancestors sacrificed a whole lot for us to be here. That's why I take my mission seriously. I might laugh and joke with y'all, but I'm dead serious about my purpose. My life is not a game. My mission is not a game. The ancestors are nothing to play with. I don't joke with African liberation. I am very, very serious about African liberation. Very serious. Brother Nkosi up in Jersey. Peace and black power. $100 from Brother Nkosi. Thank you, Brother Nkosi. African black, African black violent criminal helps secure face-to-face -face non incarcerated manhood guidance. African societal appropriateness, re-Africanize our values. I love it, Brother Kosi. 
in Kulsi, in the guidance, how to correct all actions and behavior that I committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to African communities. Everybody needs to make that pledge. Brothers and sisters, all of us are guilty. All of us are guilty. I don't care how conscious you are, how woke you are, how educated you are. All of us must pledge to correct all actions and behaviors that we committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to African communities. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to say it one more time, brother and Kosi. You on the money, brother. Thank you for the $100 donation. You are a basic sponsor of the documentary. Correct all actions and behaviors that I committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to the African community. Powerful. Powerful. Birmingham, Alabama, willing to participate in the shock inventory. So you're going to have to fly up to Philly. Make sure you get with me. Powerful. Do you think American descendants of slavery only receive reparations? The entire African race are owed reparations for what white folks and Arabs then done to us. The wedding scene was fake. Brother Saul, when are you coming to Brazil? 100 million black people. Brother Saul, let me talk to my Brazilian Africans right now. Let me talk to my, Bra I want to talk to two group of Africans right now. I want to talk to my Brazilian Africans and I want to talk to my Australian Africans. I want to talk to my Brazilian Africans and I want to talk to my Australian Africans. Okay. Okay. My Rio de Janeiro Africans. Let me say this. Brazil has more Africans than any country outside of Africa. Brazil has more Africans than any country outside of Africa, and I have never been there yet, and I want to know why. I was in talks with two or three different organizations who wanted to bring me to Brazil, but it never materialized. I was in talks with two or three different organizations who wanted to bring me in Brazil, but it never materialized. So my question to my Brazilian Africans, why have I not touched down yet? I've been to Suriname. I've been to South Africa. I've been to Suriname on the Guyana border, but I've never been to Brazil. I want to know why. Australian Africans, you are the only continent to which I have yet to be invited to speak. My Australian Africans, why have I not touched down in the land down under? So I got a personal gripe with my Brazilian Africans and I got a gripe with my Australian Africans. But I did get an email from some Australian Africans last week. And we're going to see if this is another false alarm. But we really going to make it. I want to go visit my South Pacific Africans, too. I'm going to go visit my South Pacific Africans and I want to go visit my Africans in the so-called Middle East, too. The Arabian Peninsula. We got Africans out there who've been there since the beginning of time. Pre-slave trade. We got Aboriginal Africans of Iraq. The Aboriginal Africans of Kuwait. The Aboriginal Africans of Saudi Arabia. I was supposed to go to the Middle East, remember? I was supposed to go to Iraq or Iran for a conference, but COVID. COVID threw it off. COVID threw it off. UK, October, South Africa, October. I'm not going to Brazil for the Queens, my brother. I'm going to Brazil to organize. Get your head out of your lower chakra. Black men, we have to stop operating with the lower chakra all the time. You got to come on up to the Obatala consciousness. You got to come on up to the crown chakra and activate Obatala consciousness. Stop living through... Your lower chakra, my brothers. Brother Anthony, $10. Thank you. Can't wait to see you in Chicago. Bad Two Fest, King Kong is going down. Cash app. Jaden, $1. $10, Jaden. Can't ask the question. $1. I appreciate the $1 donation, but that don't get you no question. Make America great again. Back to Wall Street. Make black America great again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need a t-shirt, man. Any t-shirt men out there? I need a t-shirt, man. Any t-shirt men out there? I need a t-shirt, man. Text me if you live in Philly and you do t-shirts. Text me if you live in Philly and you do t-shirts. Wait a minute. 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 Brother Bruce. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
I just got an idea. Brother Bruce. Make Black America great again. Lord have mercy. I'm such a genius. If you can print me about 50 t-shirts, text myself, make Black America great again. I coined it. It is mine. Don't steal it. It's my phrase. Y'all be stealing. Y'all stole unapologetically Black. I ain't get a dollar. Y'all stole unapologetically African. I ain't get a dollar. Make Black America great again. I need some t-shirts. You're someone I can have an intellectual conversation with over dinner. Okay, sir, but uh, you're not African and I'm not into anything other than traditional African relations. Not to make assumptions about you, sir, but I don't know I don't know the angle you're coming from, but I just wanted to make that clear. I am not a part of the Rainbow Brigade as we continue. See? Don't say Arabs did a lot of enslaving. Arabs are still doing a lot of enslaving. I want to see everybody on Saturday, September the 10th. Bring your children. It will be games, food, giveaways, vendors, performers, FDMG performances at gmail.com, FDMG performances at gmail.com, FDMG vending. You want to help do a documentary on the plantations around Baton Rouge? That's a good idea, Brother Kino. That's a real good idea. You need to get on that, my brother. Dr. Umar, how do you engage our middle school and high school students in the struggle? You can't get, you're not going to get the, it's going to be hard to get their attention in that context. You got to take them out of that European context and put them in a black community context. Snow bunny crisis. I'm happily married and here to support melanated indigenous people. Hmm. <laughs> Melanated. Everybody's melanated except Europeans. Indigenous. You have a lot of indigenous groups. I am African. Not an adjective. I am a noun. Love from the DMV. I see you fashionable, Tam. Are you married? I have my two queens. I'm more than married. More than married. Married is paper with the white man. How do you pe penetrate a predominantly white town? Why do you want to penetrate a predominantly white town? My thoughts on Beyonce. I love Beyonce. I support Beyonce. I do long for the day where she will wear her own natural hair, though. But I love Beyonce. What religion are you in? I practice traditional African spirituality. That version practiced by the Yoruba peoples of Nigeria known as Ifa. You have two queens. Yes, I do. Europeans have a smaller amount of melanin. Of course. Why you can't talk about it now? Some of us are not in America. The Constitution is a white man's paperwork. How did you get two wives? I simply took two. What else? Are you coming to London in October? My thoughts on 4C hair. I don't know what 4C hair. That blind crap needs to go. I agree. Roe versus Wade. White genetic survival. Totally agree. What do you think about people that identify stronger with the island over the motherland? Tribalism. Reason why Hollywood made all black actors just like a woman. A feminization of the black man. Rwanda is hosting the Commonwealth Summit. The head of state is Prince Charles. He made some comments about slavery. What did he say, Brother Ian? What did, what did Prince Charles say about slavery? What did Prince Charles say about slavery? I know one thing. I hope none of our Africans in Africa and in Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I hope no Africans in Africa or Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I hope no Africans in Africa or Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. What about black actually means white? Black does not mean white. I don't know who told you that. Cash app. One dollar, sparks and bridges. They want multiple orgasms. Somebody wants multiple orgasms, brothers and sisters. Maybe they want an intellectual orgasm. Maybe they want an intellectual orgasm. Do you believe a race war is coming? We already in one. Ancestry is fake. How can we truly trace back our heritage? Uh, I don't think it's fake. When you African, you African. I don't have to do no tracing. I know to which race I belong. How many races are there? Who knows? Maybe four or five basic ones. I'm only concerned about the African one, the original one. Sister Tony, you are so smart. Did the universe set it up like this? No, we made some bad decisions as African people that we keep on repeating. Do you support Brother Ben X? Why don't we learn that we were kings and queens in school? Um... 
because we don't own the schools and we're not trying to build no schools. Do you believe in false flags? I don't know what that means. Why is Queen Latifah and Tiffany Haddish making movies with white men? Same reason why everybody else making movies with white folks. Black does mean white. Uh, according to you, it does. How do I make peace with my father? Sit down and meet, but you're going to have to forgive him for everything he's done in order for that to happen. Or are you going to be leaving some merchandise at the Doc Bookstore for people to purchase that miss you in person? That's the idea. If I have some books left over after Sunday, I'm going to definitely gift the sisters at the Doc Bookstore with some books on Monday before I leave. Thanks for coming to Charlotte. I enjoy Charlotte, although I didn't like the Queen Mother cutting me off at my lecture. Much love from Jersey. Can you go live tomorrow? Is social media addiction real? Of course it is. When are you coming to Jacksonville? Which one? White people ain't stealing from blacks. Yes, they are. Y'all need to understand language better. Do you think this is overturned? Really just so. After my after school program served at church. The woman came from the man's rib. Of course, how did the woman come from the man's rib when the African woman is the oldest human being? The African woman is God's first human creation. How did she come from the rib? There you go with that Greco-Roman anti-feminine energy dogma in religious propaganda. We came from a black woman. I don't have a problem with that. Women birth men every day. Why do I have a problem with the fact I came from a woman? Man and woman are still equal. We serve two different functions. Come back to Detroit. I will be in Toledo August 11th. That's only 45 minutes from Detroit. Stop being lazy. I'm coming back to Boston. I miss my Boston Africans. Whoopi Goldberg in the Holocaust. They made her shut up and sit down just like they did our brother Nick Cannon. You need to do the Sisters Conference in Massachusetts. Are you going to go on Joe Button podcast? Me and Joe Button spoke on Instagram. I'm waiting for he told me he'll get in touch with me. Me and DJ Academics spoke on Instagram. I'm waiting for him to get in touch with me as well. I'm ready to bring you to Atlanta. Queen Mother Mary Evans, you move from Pontiac to Atlanta, Queen Mother. I'm ready for you, Queen Mother. Let me know when you want to make it pop. Let me know when you want to make it pop. Come to Chicago, Bantu Fest. How do you confront cultural appropriation? First of all, stop making white folks feel comfortable. It's okay to exploit your culture and then go back to a suburb at night. Stop letting white folks think it's okay to exploit your culture by day. And go back to white privilege by night. Stop letting white folks feel it's okay to appropriate your culture during the day and go back to their privileged white life by night. Stop, stop, stop. Washington, D.C. I need to get back to my D.C. Africans. Is the government behind the flooding of New Orleans? Of course they are. Is it a good idea to represent my African flag on July 4th? If you want to, I'm not even bothered with July 4th. It don't even exist for me. What do you think about Minister Farrakhan? I respect Minister Farrakhan. What states and reasons are good to raise black children in? They are racist. How do you feel about Islam? If it's an African-centered Islam, I'm okay. If it's an Arab-centered Islam, you can keep it. Do you think the white power structure had easier access to kill Gaddafi because he didn't understand white supremacy? No, it was a setup. They had to kill him because he was going to start an African currency. When is the Conscious Singles Retreat? Conscious Singles Convention will be held at FDMG. I'm going to hold the Conscious Singles Convention at FDMG. Those who come to the first convention will go to the retreat later. It's going to be a Conscious Couples Retreat. There will be a retreat for married people that I'm working on up in the mountains. The retreat is for heterosexually married Africans, traditionally married man and woman. Retreat because black love and black wives matter. Black husbands matter. Black husbands matter. DD Ma'at, you speed reading for real. Conscious Singles Convention going to be off the hook. You can't come to the Conscious Singles Convention if you married. No cheating. It, Chris, $20. Thank you, brother Chris. Let me say this. If you sneak into the Conscious Singles Convention and your husband or wife send you a picture, I'm going to put it up on the, on, the, on the big screen. I'm telling you now. We do not support adultery. We do not support adultery. We're trying to put families together. We're not trying to separate families. I said the Conscious Singles Convention is about putting new families together, not to 
break down existing families. The Conscious Singles Convention is about building new families, not destroying existing families. If you come to the convention acting like you're single and I find out you're not single, you're going to get embarrassed. I'm going to publish a list of adulterers who snuck into the Conscious Singles Convention. I'm going to publish a list of adulterers who snuck into the Conscious Singles Convention. Convention. I'm going to put your picture up. And if you are an adulterer and you're trying to sneak into the conscious couples retreat with your side piece, if you are an adulterer and you're trying to sneak into the conscious couples retreat with your side piece, I'm going to expose you again. No adultery will be tolerated. We are pro family. We are pro family. Dr. Umar, how do I get laid by a snow bunny? We need a mental health hospital for raccoons like you. We need a mental health hospital for raccoons like you. Are you looking for another wife? Who's asking? No, nah, I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool. I can ask the queendom if they will admit one more. I can ask the queendom if they will admit one more. $10 from Sister Khadija. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, Sister Khadija. Shout out to all my Africans in prison. Listen, if you're watching me and you are in prison, if you're watching me and you are in juvenile detention, if you're watching me and you are at a halfway house, if you're watching me and you are at a drug rehab center, tell your executive director to get in contact with Dr. Umar to come and present to us. I do not charge for prisons. I do not charge for halfway houses. I do not charge for juvenile detention. I do not charge for... Four, recovery homes. If you are an inmate, a juvenile delinquent, a recovering alcoholic, a recovering drug addict, if you are a woman and you are in a battered woman shelter, I will come and do a free seminar for my battered sisters. All they have to do is fly me out and take care of the hotel. They must carry the expenses. There's no honorarium. For me to serve Africans in dire need. Battered women shelters, homeless shelters, abuse shelters, chemically addicted clinics, jails, prisons, penitentiaries, juvenile detention. I do not charge. So if you're watching me, my brother, I will come to your prison. I will come to your halfway house. I will come to your battered women shelter. I will come to the homeless shelter. Yes, I will and do a seminar for free. Yes, I will, because I was born to serve. Born to serve, brothers and sisters. One of my wives said, no more wives, that's it. She said, that is my Shango stick. I'm already sharing it with one. I'm not sharing it with two. Black power, there go your answer. There goes your answer. I love white women. Let me send you to the block party. No time for snow bunny love. How can I reach out to you about my son? You should know who is in jail. Your son can write me. You can have your son write me. P.O. Box 6872, Philadelphia, PA. P.O. Box 6872, Philadelphia, PA. 19132. If you want to be interviewed, hit me up. You want to work at the school. FDMGresumes at gmail.com. Don't forget, NIBPM at Yahoo.com, National Independent Black Political Movement, the Bishop Turner, NIBPM. Don't forget, Black Educators Conference. If you want to be a part of the National Independent Black Educators Movement, National Independent Black Educators Movement, I need four locations, one in the South, one on the East, one in the Midwest, and one on the West Coast. I'm serious, my Black teachers, my Black reading specialists, my Black speech and language pathologists, my Black social workers, my Black nurses, my Black principals. Oh, yes. My black special ed teachers, we are about to change the game, family. I got two more minutes and then I do a deep meditation before I break my fast. I've been doing good with the soda. I ain't had too much soda this fast. I've been doing good with the snacks. I haven't had a single little Debbie cake. I haven't had a single little Debbie cake this fast, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to eat a honey bun for snack tonight. And I got my vanilla wafers and I got my ginger ale. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to confess to my African community, my global African family, because I love African people. I'm going to eat a honey bun tonight. I'm going to eat my vanilla wafers tonight, and I'm going to drink a ginger ale tonight. 
and I don't care who don't like it. Okay? Leo season begins in Chicago at the Bantu Fest. Peace and Pan-Africanism.